up, Basil Vance? It's your girl Joy back with another bingo. So, it is Sunday morning and I have skipped over several videos. I didn't do any editing this week because I've just been so overwhelmed. I've been so overwhelmed. I'm going to try to get a video out today. Okay, not this one, but I'm going to put this one out first. But I skipped over several videos, okay? I did. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're trying to keep it positive. And when you have that negative thought come inside your head, okay, sometimes they seep in. The negativity does seep in. It is what it is. We're human. We're not perfect. But with every negative thought, how about you say five great positive things about yourself? Okay? It could be about your personality, what you've done for someone, Anything that you want that's positive, you want to bring into existence, that's what you say to yourself, okay? Because I am great, I am funny, I am love, I am light, I am joy, okay? And you know, I know how to clean up, so sometimes in my head, sometimes I think I look cute, okay? And I love my little students, I love that I make them smile, we have a great... So there's so many things I can say about myself. I am rich. My financial situation is going to change, okay? I'm going to lose this extra five pounds around the pudge, okay? You know, I do go to the gym. I just don't go to the gym. I, I go in every day. I do. I go in every day. But you know, I'm 100% car life, right? But I have not gone in to work out. But I'm going to. I think today is the start of a new week because today is Sunday but something was on my mind it was on my mind because somebody said something and okay I'm just gonna keep it 100 it pissed me off okay it did piss me off and I'm not the type of person that comes back with the where I'm snappy and I could come back with come back with the comebacks you know, I'm just not that person. I'm that person that'll walk up and go like, dang, I should have said this. Dang, I should have said that. Dang it. Oh, so that's me. And so as they said it, I did say something. But then it just kind of festered. I'm like, what nerve do they have to say that? So, I don't know. I think I was talking about money, uh, financial stuff. Because although I've transitioned to car life, it has not created extra savings it has not but if I didn't do car life it would be worse so this transition it did not help with money at all so I was at the end of my rope even when I was in a place so that's neither here nor there but what they said and I think we were talking about money I don't know what it was and it was like um I think they said something about the car living and whatever and then I, I don't know how it happened, but what they said was, oh, but you have money for tattoos. And some of you probably feel that way too. And, and it's your right to feel that way. But let me tell you something. I haven't had a vacation in 22 years. 22. Um, I may have done little, little things here or there. I haven't really done, I haven't gone anywhere, I haven't bought anything major for myself. When I did have a few dollars, I bought cars for the girls, um, paid off some stuff for the girls, made sacrifices to live in a great area for my children, decided to move to Texas because I knew I didn't want to raise my children in New York because I wanted to give them a better opportunity at life. Not that you can't have a great opportunity in New York, but you got to have coin, okay? And it just wasn't the place that I thought. And every time I get money, it's to provide for my children. Every time I get money, somebody needs something, which is fine because they didn't ask to be here. So it doesn't bother me. It's just, I just give it to them. Not give it to them. You know, it's like for a need, not for like shopping, makeup, not just because they want to. No, it's for things that they need. So they're not spoiled by any means. They may be spoiled with my time and with my love. Yes, they are. So it's like everything, mostly everything I have, I give to my children. I haven't like bought anything major for myself. So if I go through this entire life, my entire life, and I never stepped out of doing the right thing to do a little something for myself, 
what was my life worth? I didn't gave it all away to everybody else but me. If I choose to spend a, a, a couple of hundred dollars on a tattoo, something that's gonna go to the grave with me, okay? If I choose to spend a few extra dollars that I take, I said, no, I'm gonna do this for me, I don't care. I'm gonna pay me first. God dang it, I work nonstop. I work even Saturday and Sunday. I stay at school until 10 o'clock working for my students. I'm always doing stuff for somebody but me. So if I choose to spend a few dollars on a tattoo because this is what I want, what is the big deal with that? You tell me. So I should never do anything or treat myself to something. Okay, everybody knows what the teachers made. You can look that up in the system. And so if I always give everything away, every single thing, is it bad that I do something for me here and there? Well, God damn, I already live in my goddamn car. How much more can I do? Excuse the language. It just, it really rubbed me the wrong way. That I can't do something for me just because I chose to do ink. Like a purse doesn't impress me. Jewelry doesn't impress me. I'm good going to the beauty supply store and getting me some earrings, okay? That stuff doesn't impress me. There's a bracelet I want from James Avery. Did I go buy that bracelet? No, I have not. I've been wanting it for years. Have I gone to do that? No, I have not. I want me some new boots. Y'all know I'm bad in the shoe, shoe category. I haven't even bought me some new shoes. So instead of maybe getting a tattoo, maybe I get some shoes. But those shoes go, get bad. They'll get run down. I wear them to death. Thank God I got up to, uh, some Doc Martens because they last forever. It's what I wanted, okay? It was my little splurge, once in a blue moon. So I'm just like, sometimes people try to spend other people's money or say they should spend it or shouldn't spend it that way. You have to do what's, what you want. And I understand about taking care of responsibilities and all of that stuff. But if you go through your entire life and you never step outside that line to do something for you like you always on the straight and narrow you always doing you know the right thing and then you turn around your whole life is gone you on your deathbed and you never enjoyed it, your life you never did anything for you you never took that trip you never bought sh heck you never bought that three thousand dollar purse and maybe you just want to sport that three thousand dollar purse that's your business so be careful what you say to people because you don't know their situation. You don't know the sacrifices that they've made. And don't get me wrong, I'll do anything for my kids. Look, look at me now. In which none of them asked me to do this. I did this for me. It was it was stressful. It was stressful living with that financial stress all the time. But what had happened was my expenses just shifted around a different way. So they just shifted. The, 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 the struggle is still there. It just shifted. So I know I'm, I said this before, but for new people, if there are any new people here, or for people who didn't remember what I said, so as soon as you add teenagers on your car insurance, baby, that stuff, <laughs> skip it and jump. Yep, yep, yes, 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 yep, 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 yes, 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 skyrockets, and it did. Instead of paying, you know, thousands for a place to live, my stuff just shifted. It just shifted different places. So don't get it twisted. So it's a little less stress, but I still have the stress. And then Sydney be calling. She be stressed about how she gonna pay for this. I'm like, okay, maybe I can get another job. You know, they're really great kids. And Sydney's been looking for a job. And as you know, Bobby doesn't really ask for much, but she won't ask but I know, you know, this time she needs. So every pay, so every payday, I'm like, okay, I gotta send this to Sydney or I gotta send that to Bobby. And sometimes I'll be looking at their little savings when they get a few extra dollars. I'm like, I gotta borrow that. You know, I'll pay it back when I get, you know, when I get paid. So, you know, it's still there, but it's not as bad. It's bad, but it's not as bad. It's not as bad. So I can help a little more. Does that make sense? And so, if I choose to do something for me, why should you throw that up in my face? 
if getting a tattoo brings me joy and I can see it every day, whatever, I'll be like, bam, oh, oh, bam, that's me. And for your information, not that y'all ask, okay? But the other, when I add it to my tattoo, Bobby gifted that to me. I ain't even paid for that. That was Bobby when she had this little, this piece right here. She had that little piece right there, but I felt guilty. I was like, you know, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna throw you a hundred dollars and you know, you know, so I'm just like, can a sister just live a little bit? Like I said, I work nonstop. Every day I work. And it doesn't, it's not because I have, to, well, it's not that I have to, but you know, my brain, I still haven't had medicine. I'm, I always feel like I'm behind and then I get distracted. I do. So I was like, I'm always playing catch up. <laughs> so I feel like, okay, you got a few extra minutes. Joy, focus, focus, you can do this, Joy. You can focus, focus, you can do it, you can do this. You know, so, you know, so I need the extra minutes. And then there's no way, there's absolutely no way I can, I can do anything outside of teaching when I'm at school. There's no way. So even on the planning period, I'm either going to planning, I can't do anything. And then if I do have a planning period, I'm either trying to make copies or, or it's, I'm always doing something. And trust me, it's not chit chat. I don't got time to chit chat. I, I really don't. So my chit chat, I'm like, I got stuff to do. And then Sydney was like, you know, so I'm working. Then one day I was at school until 10. I'm at school until 10 a lot of time, but don't know. I'm like, where I'm going to go anyway here so but i'm like um when the kids leave they leave 4 15 whatever by the time five o'clock i done twirled around went to the bathroom cleaned up the room it's five o'clock i'm not rushing then sometimes i may sit there i may make something to eat because lunch you know that 15 minutes lunch i get it just isn't enough so i may make something to eat and i'm sitting down and it's like woosa and then I, you know, maybe I'm just thinking, I'm reflecting on my day. What can I do better? What can I do better to be a better person? Did I say something? So I'm always thinking that I'm thinking about, okay, what do I have to do tomorrow? And I may not always get to what I have to do tomorrow because I'm distracted by something in the classroom. So, da, 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 da. so it's always something. So, you know, something that may take somebody um, an hour may take me three, maybe four, maybe in a couple of days. It's just the way my brain works. So, it's like I'm there and I'm doing something in my mind. I'm doing something. I think I'm doing something. And then I'm just like, I done created a whole wall that I put up. You know, a little wall with educational stuff. I'm like, oh, but I had all these papers to grade. But I had to do this wall too because it's just been sitting here before somebody say something because there's certain things you have to have on your wall. But, you know, I'm extra. So my stuff just not going to be regular because I'm not regular ever. Sometimes I wonder what it'd be like to be just regular joy. People probably be like, what's wrong with her? And you know, one day I went into, and this is what I'm talking about. I know I'm all over the place. But one day I went to somebody and I was like, hey, you got such and such, you know, being me, being me, you know. And he was like, hey, talk about night and day personalities. I was like, oh, okay. So do you mind? Yeah, here it is. I was like, what's wrong with you? I mean, it was stank. St Talking about stank attitude? The dark cloud hovering? I don't got time for that. Mm Ooh, it gives me, it makes me want to gag just thinking about it. I left out of that room so fast. And I was like, I never even want to enter that room again. Think. I said what I said. I meant what I said. Let me tell you, you got to avoid these dark clouds. And it, okay, they could have been having a bad day, but they don't got nothing to do with me. Why give me the stink? Why you want to serve stink to me on a plate? I ain't do nothing to you. And if I did, you better say something. It was stink. I call them shapeshifters. Don't shapeshift with me. One minute you this way, next minute you that way. And I didn't do anything to you. Why you why you gotta serve me to stink? Now if you wanna say, oh girl, you, you mind if we can we talk about this? You know, it's not you, it's not you, Basil. Just it wasn't none of that. It was just like, mm, here. I was like, mm-mm. I avoid, I avoid. Morning time, 
I love, I love my morning duty now. Cause I love seeing the kids come down. And I be like, good morning, good morning to you. Don't let anybody block your shine, honey. Yes, keep it positive. Slay, queen, slay. I like your hair. Ooh, don't crease those shoes. Don't crease your shoes, honey. Ooh, slay, slay. And happy, 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 happy Monday. So I'm like that the whole time. Sometimes I have my pom-poms. Just giving that positive energy. And I've noticed the kids now look forward to that. They do. They love it. And I love doing it and saying it. And I'm like, you are great. You are smart. Go on and get this education. Yes. Yes. And it's just it's just so fun. And they just, some of them starting to hug me now. And they look forward to that positive energy. Let me tell you, your positive energy can be what is the word i'm looking for just like you don't i don't want to be around i don't want to be fed that dark energy the dark cloud i really don't i'm not interested i'm really not interested and so i avoid those situations i just stay in my room when i come out i'm joy and one girl she was like she wasn't she wasn't having a great day but she said she said joy basil i'm just I just can't right now. It's like I was too much for her. I was like, okay. I turned around and I left. And I did. But I appreciated her. I said, Joy, I can't right now. I can't. I can't. And then she did come back later. She was like, okay. You know, I know you wanted me to help you with something. I'm here. I'm here now. You know, I was just going through something. And I appreciate that. It just wasn't the stank. And it was just the stank on top of stank. Serving stank. Girl, if you were one of those people that serve stank, stop. It's not if it if that person didn't have anything to do with your stank, stop. It, it's hurtful. It, it doesn't make people feel good. It just make you look stank. Oh my god, I don't like it. So it's like, so what you don't like it? That's your problem. Yes, it is, and I don't have to be around it. And that's why I don't. That's why I stay right in my room. My new hallway, they love me down my new hallway where I move my classroom. Mr. Bell Bell. Bell Bell! And I always bother him. I see him now. His name is Mr. Bell. I'm like, Bell Bell! How you doing, Bell Bell? He was like, Joy, I'm so glad you're in my hallway. <laughs> my kids, my son, I just love my little students. They're just so awesome. They're so cute. And we just have so much fun. But they're like the odd students here and there. They just be like, I'm like, maybe, look, the, the look on their face, I'm like, maybe you need to go to another class where it's just calm. Maybe this is not the class for you. So one girl, I think it was open. I stopped. No, it was two. One girl, I stopped her. I said, are you okay in the class? Are, are we too loud for you or something? Because you don't look... Mm. She's like, no, no, I just had a headache. But I'm realizing you look like that every day. And maybe that's just your face. And then another student, um, I'm like, I asked him, Mama said, is she okay in this class? Cause... I'm like, so I may ask her again because there are other phenomenal teachers that are a little calmer than Miss Basil. You come in my class, it's high impact energy. They were taking a test the other day and I was upset because I couldn't play. You know, we playing but we learning. Don't get it twisted now. Don't get it twisted. But I'm like, oh, they testing. Dang. So I'm like, I want to play. I tell you, the older I get, the more of a kid I become. I don't know. I'm regressing. It is. Because I knew I drove the last person I was with. I knew I drove them crazy. Because I was like a child. Always want to play hide and seek and scare and stuff. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, the next person better watch out. <laughs> they getting a the kid on steroids. <laughs> they better watch out. All right, y'all. So let me go because I'm going to be here. I, I got work to do. It's 11 o'clock on Sunday. I am going to try to get this one up first. So what I'm saying is I'm going to try to do something for me, which would be edit this video and get this video out before I start working on schoolwork. And that's what I mean. I'm, I'm doing. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to edit this video. That's what I'm going to do first. But before I do that... I'm going to treat myself to a cup of coffee from Dutch Bros and Bobby. Let me see if I got some coin for that first. And it's Bobby's fault because she put me onto the Dutch Bros. It's good. It's sweet, but it's good. But as soon as it starts to melt with the ice, mm, your joint is, you know, diluted. Ooh, y'all know what I did today, y'all? I got my car washed. 
I put $10 of gas in my car and I paid for the little drive through car wash for the first time ever. I was like, mister, I do this. Just drive your car in and wait for the red and green light. How about that? I know, I was just, you know, trying to make you smile, sir. <laughs> so, I was in, this car was so, it could go through again. I can say it could, get, it could go through one more time. But it was my first time. My car was so dirty, I was embarrassed. That's how embarrassed I was, okay? Yes, I was. And this hair is embarrassing. I don't know. But every time I run my car, it eats up the gas. That's where my gas went. It went from me running this car so I get AC. <sighs> that's what it, that's where it went. But I don't run it all the time. But like if I'm talking to you right now, I gotta run it. And in the morning times, you know, the car's not running. I have my USB fans. The morning, the sun is like girl it's time for you to get up <laughs> i be sweating and stuff so i take like two showers a day yes i do shower every day at the bougie gym but i'm a i'm a going in i'm a workout i'm looking at the gym i'm a workout lifetime i'm going to do it today because sunday is the start of the new week really it's monday for me but you know sunday so i'm like i'm gonna do even if it's just 15 minutes i'm gonna do something I'm going to do it, okay? Now, that I owe to myself, too, right? You know what? Oh, my mouth, joy. I went to a party. I was invited to a party. And I was like, let me go. Because what else I got to do? And I could go eat, right? Because y'all know I love, I love food. And I haven't eaten today. So, I haven't broken my fast. And so, the coffee will suppress my appetite a little bit, too. But I have some little things. They good. I got to show you what they are. They probably not the healthiest, but they good anyway. So, whatever. So, I went to the party. And it was the man's... I love his... Now, his personality? Love his personality. And it was far. And I thought I would just stay out there, you know. Have a few adult beverages. And I thought I would just stay. But I was like... I'm going to be drinking water because it's far and it was nothing but grass around, nothing but land. Beautiful house, beautiful house. But I was like, mm, I ain't staying here. Next thing you know, a snake them crawled up in my car. No thanks. <laughs> I have water, please. Thank you. With extra ice. And so, everybody, not everybody, most of the people were, were older. And and they were older and I was probably older than most of them or the same age but I was just looking the mobility the mobility a lot of it I was like I truly feel like a teenager my body feels like a teenager of course you already know my brain is already there but I was like joy I need to appreciate this fountain of youth I've been blessed with. So I'm blessed. I may not be blessed financially, you know, or blessed in the looks category, but how I feel, I feel like a teenager. My spirit feels young. Y'all know, act a fool. So I'm like, I need to appreciate and be thankful for that. At least I have my help. You know, I have my little challenges here and there. But, you know, it could be worse. And so, lifetime i'm going to do 15 minutes i'm gonna start with 15 minutes. i'm gonna be embarrassed just going in and leaving 15 minutes later <clears throat> but it's a start right right lifetime so i'm gonna appreciate that i'm able to go into a lifetime and do something because a lot of the people at the party it it looked like it was a challenge so I'm thankful and I'm thankful and I'm grateful for the gifts and the blessings that I am blessed with. So it's not the money or materialistic things. I'm blessed with my mobility, even our crazy brain. I'm blessed for my youthful spirit. I'm blessed that I'm breathing. I could run. I could roller skate in school, which I did. It was great. Oh, it was great. I'm glad I could do those things. I'm just thankful for all of those things and so much more. And more importantly, I'm thankful for you. Okay. Bye, y'all.